espirituales. Hoy somos bendecidos con la presentación de una de estas reveladoras conferencias titulada Historias budistas, un cierto brahman y no hay fuego como el deseo, parte 1 de 4, en Entre Maestra y los discípulos, dada en inglés en septiembre de 2015 en Francia. All right, can it's good. It's good. So how are you today? Cold? Okay. Feel cold? No. No? no. Mm. Blanket. Have blanket, have everything? Yeah. Okay. Uh, tonight you better sleep inside, okay? I and mean, sit inside. And you sleep anyway, wherever, but what I mean is inside, okay? <laughs> Why do I have to yell at you, huh? So, so that you will do some, some meditation. Otherwise, you just sit there, I don't know what you're meditated on. Yeah? It doesn't look like you meditate on, on some heaven, just something else. And then some are meditating very rhythmatically, you know. <laughs> yeah? And some meditate more quietly, <laughs> you know, on the on the neighbor's shoulders, <laughs> or on the tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. At night, the more you awake, the better. Okay. You will hear things. You will see things. Better. Hmm. But you pass it all. You have it. You have all. You have it all. Let you let it all pass by, because you're not awake. Especially day night time. <sighs> Many things you should know, you should see, but you pass it all. And then you tell me, Master, I don't see anything. No. How can you see when your cl eyes close? <laughs> Physical and third eyes, but all three closed. Because only your mouth open. <laughs> Maybe you can see it with your mouth, I don't know, some people can. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, it's okay. I just feel sorry for you because you have very short time here, okay? Very short time. Three, four days, right? You like to stay longer, right? No, you don't. No, it's just good time, right? One week is good time, right? Holiday, okay? <laughs> Do you take anything supplement for your cancer stuff? After uh, cancer? No. No? No. They 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 just said vitamin D to bring my vitamin D level up and uh, aspirin. But many other vitamin also, and multi as well, okay? Huh? Hmm. Uh. I was trying to get something for you, but they say I don't have it there. <laughs> I don't know where it is anymore. Maybe, maybe at the SMC center. Are you here until when? Uh, Friday, master. What day is today? <laughs> Wednesday night. Wednesday. Okay, okay. Maybe I can get it for you. Maybe. Thank you, master. Yeah. To to re reproduce cells, new cells. Cause cancer, they eat up all the cells. But you look so healthy, I don't know. When you first came, I saw, I saw you, I thought you had cancers. But you look so healthy. That's why I asked you to make sure. Mm. Sometimes stress also, you know, to bring, bring uh, ulcer or cancer, yeah? stress. But you're not a stressy person. You're good. Yeah? You come home, you're busy with husband, children, and many other homework from the hospital as well. You don't exactly. have enough time, right? Exactly, Master. And then Basically, you, you work 10, 10 and a half, 11 yeah, hour yeah. days. <laughs> Doctor's work is, I'm telling you, yes. I'm glad I'm not a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I had a husband as a doctor I knew. He worked, you know, sometimes non-stop for, for two, three weeks. At night, can't sleep, stay in the hospital, at home, on call, you know? Anytime, beep, beep, then he has to run. Even weekend, holiday, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes he doesn't have enough energy to even 
talk to his wife. <laughs> yeah, so tired, you know? Yes. Too much demanded physically, emotionally, mentally stressed in the hospital and cannot sleep, uh, emergency at night. And it's incredible. Doctors are really saints. <laughs> 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 That's mm -hmm. why... <laughs> I don't know why you have to study with me. You're saying already. I can't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and you go home, you meditate on the patient's history and future and present. Yeah. You can't just, you can't just turn it off. Yeah? Okay? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes, indeed. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I was thinking that maybe I have that kind of uh, medicine. I will give it to you. I still have some of it. I give it to you if I, can, if I cannot find it. Thank so you, Master. I'm not Thank sure if I can find it. SMZ, I will give it to you. Thank you, Master. And I will tell you what to do. Okay, huh? Yes. Yeah. And then after you, before you finish, you order it from Switzerland. From Switzerland. Or even Sing Singapore, or maybe in America as well. Right. Check online where they sell. Right. Yeah. Thank you. And this one is to to attack some of the dead cells, uh, throw them out, and uh, renew, make new cells. It's supposed to. I try it, okay? Thank you, Master. If you feel better, then it's good. If you don't, uh, it's free. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time to take it, honestly. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, it's supposed to keep you young and all that. They advertise <laughs> a lot with all the Miss World, Miss Hong Kong, Miss uh, Singapore. They all <laughs> were in there. Uh, it's for advertisement in, in, the, in the leaflet. Oh, I would like to be looking like that, but I have no time. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to even eat and, you know, I don't know what I do, I cannot tell you. I give to you to try, hey? Thank you, okay. Master. Thank if you, you feel more energetic and better, that means it's working. Mm. You can feel the effect right away. Okay. It, okay. it will have signal right away. It's just uh, whether or not you have enough time or care enough to continue to take in at least six months. Mm? Thank okay. you, Master. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Enough for I cancel, cancel the cancel, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Thank I'm you, so Master. sorry, it's not fun. I'm laughing, but I know it's a big suffering for you. It has been. And apart from that, it's, uh, your life is hanging in balance, you know? You don't know if, if it's, you're going to die or not, you know? Because you're never sure with this thing, cancer, you know? Mm. Yes. People also give you. Uh, sickness also. Some people do. If you're unlucky to have a wife, a husband, or I don't mean your husband, he's a good guy. He's a good one, and you both are good forget together and I'm happy. Mm. It's just that um, some people are bringing bad energy, bad luck to you. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> yeah, you're spoiled. You're being loved. <laughs> he likes to be loved. So, Master, yeah. you said that uh, love uh, it comes with a price. Love comes with a price. Yeah, yeah. And is that only in this world? In other heavenly worlds, is there, it does it come with a price as well, or is it mainly just here on earth? Only here. Only oh, here, here, baby. Only yeah. here. No. Mm. Heaven, no. That's why it's called yeah, heaven. That's right. Whatever the place that categorizes as heaven, don't have trouble like this. They enjoy. Even lower heaven, I enjoy. They enjoy. And similar to here, it just manifold more pleasure and easy life, you know? Like in heaven, some heaven, they have nothing to do, just go pluck flower and decorate it themselves. <laughs> 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 Whatever they like to eat, it just comes to them, you know? Right. And they enjoy each other, like husband and wife stuff. Just they don't have uh, this physical thing like us. Yes, but they do have close contact and they do have emotional attachment to each other. Hmm? enjoy each other's company. So actually, if you want to, if you really love your husband and wife, then both should practice, and then wherever he go, you go. Yeah? You can make a choice. Anything else? And the sixth level, you said about the sixth race, mm -hmm. uh, are they um, visible or invisible? Invisible. Invisible as well, yeah. right. Okay. The, uh, mm, but they have to protect themselves if they live on this planet. Eh? That's why they live on the one new new island, new new continent. Invisible, but they can manifest themselves sometimes to come out, you know, to do some work, to help, to have fun, yeah, to check out for fun. 
<laughs> they don't need it. I'm just, I'm just saying fun the way they're fun, not the way we fun. Okay. Yeah. Right. Right. But uh, mostly they don't need to be in a physical body. What for? They don't need to eat. Huh? They don't need to couple. They don't need to drive car. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need airplane. They don't need flashlight. They don't need furniture. Whatever they need, they manifest right there. Yeah, but it's very invisible, visible to them, <laughs> but not visible to us. Thank God. Otherwise, do you think everybody would go there, you know, com commercialize it or <laughs> force to take it home because it will be too beautiful, too beautiful. Hmm? Their houses, you know, their sparkling uh, uh, water, their, their bright uh, uh, walls and their see-through roof and, you know, their gold uh, paved road and their diamond studded <laughs> uh, it's a bathroom, water, if they even have a bathroom, you know, <laughs> ponds and lakes and stuff like that, sparkling like diamonds and jewelry everywhere. If we only know it, then... It won't last long. <laughs> <laughs> Jewelry will be gone in no time. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, imagine. Uh, 50 kilometer deep underground. They said, dig it, dig it, dig, 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 dig to get it up. How oh, it just appeared like that, you know, on the, on the earth, on the surface of the, <laughs> the earth. You think we will leave it? Just uh, looking, looking. <laughs> <laughs> Just checking, checking only. Oh, no touchy feely, no, no, no touchy grabby. Huh? Oh, we would do all that. Yeah. Even don't take, but the curiosity alone would flooded the whole continent with tourists. And you know who else? Even yeah. And how? <laughs> how will they be able to live in peace? Huh? Okay. Yeah. They already want to go to Mars. <laughs> such a, you know, such a very, uh, how you say, austere planet. And promise nothing, but they seem to see something underground. And they want to come already. And they're already uh, practicing, planning, uh, <laughs> building a vehicle to go. Understand? So far like that, and so dangerous a journey. Yeah, I still want to go. Not to talk about Pacific. If <laughs> <laughs> if the continent manifested physically, oh, 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 oh. Told you already. They even sail in the moon. <laughs> they don't even go there to live. Maybe they think maybe one day or just buy it for fun because they had money. Understand? And you said for us to practice diligently so that our consciousness would would um, would uh, sort of merge with what the six level beings would bring down? Is that, oh. Would I understand that correctly? No, no, they just came to bless us. Ah, okay. I don't think any of you can merge with the sixth level. <laughs> Fifth is already a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's making friends with everybody. <laughs> good boy. Good boy. <laughs> you are a good boy. Yeah. I'm proud of you. Mm -hmm. Are you making friends with me as well or not? Can I have a handshake now? Oh, that's a TV. <laughs> that's my double. <laughs> I love you. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for being my friend. Yeah. Thank you for being my friend. You are my best friend. You're beautiful. And you are a good boy. Are you getting bigger all the time or am I wrong? <laughs> bigger and taller? Only four years old, you know, and had gone through so much suffering. That's why I love him so much. <laughs> Otherwise, there are many dogs similar, you know, bigger even. Yeah. But nobody more beautiful than you, huh? Don't worry, okay? <laughs> I've seen 250 and I took oh. you alone. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> 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 
Can you go and get me something to him to eat? From there and water and some bone from the chair. Yeah. Do you need help? Food from there. Oh my. Yeah. Okay. Can I have some of the biscuits? We have some of the bowl in the kitchen, empty bowl. Do anybody know about it? Huh? No, 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 no. Bring the whole, whole thing here. There, there is a bowl, bowl empty for him somewhere or not? Nobody know. <laughs> Nobody know. Oh, you beautiful. There's a water bowl next to his... Water uh, bowl is different. different uh, uh, empty bowl for the food so he don't have to eat on the ground. But the ground is clean, okay, but I don't <laughs> want to dirty the carpet. Because you're sitting on it. You want some of this? Say yes. Say please. <laughs> or say I love you. <laughs> Same language all the time. Huh? Everybody understood your language, huh? Okay, we're going to have it. So every day you come here, play the clown like this, huh? <laughs> Cheer up everybody. They sit all day sleeping and now they have to wake up and laughing, right? Is that correct? Uh, can you go and look at it? a plastic ball or something? Anything. Plastic ball also fine. Plastic container. That's water. Uh, or empty one, good, good. That's what I meant. Very good. There, baby. Enjoy. Uh, yeah, okay. He likes this kind of food. Yeah. He has his food, but he didn't eat much. Can you pull it? Pull it, don't touch. Pull it. Okay, you done with my dogs? Hmm? Can I begin now? <laughs> <laughs> Cannot stare at master, now stare at dog. Master's dog. <laughs> yeah, put it's it there. on the chair outside. What? No, no more bone? No. No more back? No more. Oh, finished? Oh. Okay. <laughs> no. They also don't know where I put it. Oh, I put it inside, but maybe they don't know. In the refrigerator. Well, you don't know how. <laughs> okay, you ask the girl. No, no, never mind. I call them. You stay. I forget. I could call, huh? I forgot. Sorry, I have magic. <laughs> this is your restaurant now? <laughs> Every day come here for food. <laughs> the other food is more nutrition, nutritious. Hello? Okay. Ni 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 jai um ni chi wo na ge ni zhi dao gou de na ge gu tou jiang de zhe me yang shi ma? Jai wo de bing shang li mian you ji zhong a. Na ge xiao shu jiao bao li mian you. Yo,骨头,嗯,咖啡色那种骨头,听懂吗?OK?嗯,不,呃,不是,那个蓝色带子里面有咖啡色的骨头,不然的话,那种,那种小小的给便利那种,那边也有,有两种,OK?哎,
and then you cover the sutra also with silk or you know beautiful cloth and I just make it more popular yeah more easy simple and I apologize to all the Buddha I say if I done something wrong according to the tradition my heart is full of respect it's just that I cannot always do that so please all the sin whatever I've done wrong is all on me at least other people they hear the names of the Buddha according to the Sutta they will get benefit yes this uh, story was given by this instruction or story was given by the teacher while he was reside how while he was in residence or just while he resided at Jetavana in Savati with reference to a certain Brahmin he probably still like one more. He open and put it down for him. He didn't eat his food, look at that. Sometimes he likes the other food, but if he come here, he just like to eat this. Mm-hmm. Have it. Hmm? Hmm? You're so big already. Look at you, huh? Mm. I'm glad there's no more gathering soon. Otherwise, he got fat. <laughs> He's going to miss you guys. Yeah, he's going to come here and look, look around and don't see anybody. Hmm? Hmm. Uh, the story goes that early one morning, this Brahmin went out of the city, stopped at the place where the monks put on their ropes. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Can't tell. It's like James Bond, yeah. <laughs> yeah, after, after, oh, this is a big one, oh, so big and thick. Normally he can only eat one like this per day, but he ate many times. <laughs> I can give him all this. <sighs> it's too big, because he ate already the whole day. <laughs> we give a little, a little, you know. Otherwise, it's too much. It's for teeth, actually, not the food. It makes you fat. It just tastes good, and they're hooked on it. Okay, when you finish that, oh, wow, he likes the biscuits, gosh. After you're gone, no, we do have some of this at home, too. Sometimes just for little snacks, but here he eat it for dinner. <laughs> you look at that, so enjoying, my gosh. Oh, because he didn't eat his food, that's why <laughs> he just come here. No wonder you follow me all the time, come here, huh? What, you done? No more. You eat the other food, it's more nutrition, okay? There you go. There. <coughs> hmm? I know, that's a problem with him. <laughs> mm. Uh, this is not very interesting, but I don't know. Oh. oh, we read all this already, right? Except a certain Brahmin. Mm. I've been thinking. Okay, the story goes, never mind, huh? Did, you, did I read a certain Brahmin? Not yet, huh? The one who, who make road and all that? No. Mm. Mm. The story goes that early one morning, this Brahmin, because I read already, so it looked familiar, I thought I read it to you, <laughs> went out of the city, stopped at the place where the monks put on their robes, and stood and watched them as they put on their robes. Now, in this place, uh, there was thickly overgrown grass. As one of the monks put on his robe, the edge of the rope dragged through the grass, and became wet with drops of dew. Thought the Brahmin to himself, the grass should be clean, should be cleared away from this place. So on the following day, he took his mattock, went there, cleared the place, and made it as clean and smooth as a threth, threshing floor. The day after, he went to that place again. As the monks put on their robes, he observed that the edge of the rope of one of the monks dropped to the ground and dragged in the dust. Thought the Brahmin, 
sand should be sprinkled here. So he brought sand and sprinkled it on the ground. He's doing good things for the monks. Yeah. Now one day before breakfast, the heat was intense. <coughs> on this occasion, he noticed that as the monks put on their robes, sweat poured from their bodies. It's hot, no? Mm. Hot over there, hmm? cold here. <laughs> You feel cold outside today, huh? Yeah? No? Uh, but even in cold, right? Okay, if you if you feel cold, you must go inside, okay? It's not worth it to catch a cold, huh? Um, so he, on this occasion, yeah, he saw that when the monks put on their robe because the uh, weather is hot, so he so he uh, he thought he saw the sweat pour from their bodies. So the Brahmin thought to himself, "Here, I ought to make a shelter, you know, for the monks." Uh, he's a good boy, huh? Yeah. Accordingly, he caused a shelter to be erected. Again, one day, early in the morning, it rained. On this occasion also, as the Brahmin watched the monks, he noticed that their robes were wetted by the drops of rain. Thought the Brahmin, here I ought to cause a hall to be erected. So there he caused a hall to be erected. <laughs> bendecidos con la presentación de una de estas reveladoras conferencias titulada Historias budistas, un cierto brahman y no hay fuego como el deseo, parte 2 de 4 en Entre la Maestra y los discípulos, dada en inglés el 23 de septiembre del 2015 en Francia. This is really <laughs> elaborated translation, you know, to the letter. Except when they call a teacher instead of Buddha. And instead of thus I have heard, he just say, this instruction was given <laughs> in such and such place. Okay. <clears throat> in English, we would just simplify, you know, which is thus he built a hall. <laughs> okay. Or I asked someone to build a hall. Okay. When the hall was finished, he thought to himself, Now I will hold a festival in honor of the completion of the hall. Accordingly, he invited, he invited uh, the order of monks presided over by the Buddha, seated the monks within and without the hall, and gave alms. Yeah. Give alms, you know, give food or the offering clothes or whatever the monks need. At the at the conclusion of the meal, he took the teacher's bow again, meaning the teacher, the Buddha is going to talk, to to let him to pronounce the words of thanksgiving, the words of thanksgiving. <laughs> what what that words can be? Anybody know? Hmm. <laughs> okay, whatever. Thanksgiving, so the Westerner would understand it. Reverend Sir, said he, as I stood in this place when the monks were putting on their robes and watched them, I saw this and that, and I did this and that. And beginning, at the beginning, he told the Buddha the whole story. The Buddha listened to his words, his words, right? And say, and say to him, Brahmin, a wise man, by doing good works, time after time, little by little, gradually removes the stains of his own evil deeds. Let it next to him so he can eat and the drink, you can move next to the wall. Remove that one instead. That's the wiser thing to do than to remove his food. Put it next to him, please. 
next to, okay? The food a little bit nearby. Come on, eat more, okay? Yeah? I eat more food and drink. Yeah, good boy you are. All right. So the Buddha uh, saying that, and then he pronounced the following stanza. By gradual practice, from time to time, little by little, let the sage blow off his own blemishes, just as a smith with silver. Can he reach his food? I push a little bit. Okay, now this is another story, but it was not a uh, very interesting story, but it's about doing good work and earning merit. Uh, the Bonds Woman, Puna, I think I, I read that to you, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Treasure Kaput, I read that already. Single rope already. The naked ascetic also already. Yeah. Copper tooth. The thief killer already. Wow, I read a lot. <laughs> Husband honor we didn't we didn't read, okay? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I even read to you the story of the one who criticized everybody. Yeah? The one who don't speak, he criticized the one who speaks. Uh, you know, detail, he criticizes too long, the one he uh, make it simple, simplified, he also criticizes. So when he comes to the Buddha, the Buddha don't say anything anymore. <laughs> say, he just say everybody will be criticized anyway, one way or another. Okay. Mm. Uh, what happened now? You want to eat more? No, no? Hmm? No more bone for until later, okay? No! <laughs> <laughs> you had enough, okay? Maybe later. Hmm? You eat your food. It's more nutritious, hmm? Don't be so spoiled, okay? Just biscuits and bone, that's not the way for the dog to grow. Hmm? <laughs> Yeah, who loves you? Who oh, love, love, love you? So spoil, look at you, huh? Mm -hmm. Good boy, look strong. Why, uh, you had enough. What's this? Is it good? You want to serve yourself? It's not a self <laughs> self service restaurant. Huh? Am I your waiter or something? Do I have tip after that? You really like this, huh? Oh, next time I don't let you come here anymore. You keep eating this, not too good. All right, maybe it's good. Who knows? Yeah, it's good for you. Go eat it over there. Sit and eat. Sorry. Okay. So. I read it, but I forgot. You could eat this forever, no? <laughs> yeah, but this is not this is not real food, is it? Huh? So spoiled, look at him, he's so big already, look at that, huh? Eating only this. It make you fat. I read some of this but it's not very interesting. Not like exciting like those stories we read before, huh? Right? <laughs> because maybe the translation also. Did I read you story, the certain monk? No. Hmm. I don't know, the lay disciple Atula, I read it to you already. Shinsa. Oh. oh, this is not very interesting. I read some of them. Let me check. It's not very 
Maybe I should not read it first. <laughs> Okay, no, I read this story. It's a little bit more interesting. I read this one also already. Uh, if I did not read it, then I will just read it to you. You see what I mean? I read already, and I think it's a little bit... <laughs> maybe some other time. Uh, there's a t story about the five laymen. Lay men. The title is, There is no fire like lust. This instruction was given by the Buddha while he was in the residence at Chetavana with reference to five lay disciples. The story goes that these five men went to the monastery desiring to hear the Dharma, the teaching from the Buddha. Did you feel any better? Really? You have to rub it, you know, a couple of times a day. And before you sleep, and whenever it has pain, it's harmless. Huh? Just warm up a little bit, the circulation better. It's, I guess you sit too long also. Hmm? What happened? You can't eat any more, baby. You eat this. Push that there for, for him. He was eating it, and then somebody disturbed him. And then he, then he remembers something else, you know. If he was eating and something disturbed him, then he stopped. He won't eat again until maybe many, many hours later. And here, because he saw this, he remembered it, so he don't even want to go back there. Eat that. Eat your food. Huh? Be a good boy. You don't keep looking at me. I'm not giving you anything anymore, even if you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so... Uh, and having saluted the teacher, meaning the Buddha, sat down respectfully on one side. Now, in the case of the Buddhas, no such thought ever enters their mind as the following. And no Buddha have a thought like this, like the following. This man is a Katya, this man is a Brahmin, this is a rich man, this is a woman. I will teach the Dharma to this man in such a way as to exalt him, I will not do so, however, in the case of this other man, it matters not with reference to what subject the Buddhas teach the, da the Dharma. They place reference for the Dharma before all else, and teach the Dharma as though they were bringing down the celestial river from the sky. Meaning the Buddha just uh, teach them if they came to him. Yeah, it yeah, doesn't matter if this person is rich or poor, you know, or less uh, favorable than the other person. Yeah. So here, Buddha is teaching five persons because they came and asked him. Maybe initiation or something. I say, no. <laughs> In or oh, no? What part of no you don't understand? Huh? <laughs> I love you. It just is too much of that food. Oh, no good. Hmm? No good. Hmm. A kiss instead. Nah? Kiss, kiss. All right. But though the Tathagata, mean the Buddha, mm -hmm. taught the Dharma in this way to the five men who sat about him, one of the five, even as he sat there, fell asleep. So familiar, no? <laughs> <laughs> Another sat and dug the earth. Nope. Nope. Can somebody put this up there for me? Put this up there. I take some. No, that's for later, in case. I really mean it this time, okay? It's not too good for you to eat this thing too much of fatty fat. Hmm? Another sat and dug the earth with his finger, you know, <laughs> playing with dirt. <laughs> you know, <laughs> sit there and just dig. <laughs> dig in the earth with his finger. Another sat and shook a tree. <laughs> yeah, we have olive tree outside. Another gazed at the sky. Wow, all so familiar to me. <laughs> no. 
Okay. Mm. Only only one listened attentively to the Dharma. So all four of them had issues. Yeah. <laughs> only one is listening to the Buddha. Oh 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 oh. You playing with this? Oh my God. Five person came. Only one person really listened. How many are you listening here? <laughs> huh? How many is listening to me? All right. Mm. Even sat and shook the tree. <laughs> God. What for they came to the Buddha if they're just doing that? One is looking at the stars, you know, sky, one is shaking the tree, and one is uh, digging the earth with the finger, you know, playing. And one is uh, fell asleep. Yeah. <coughs> we have it here too. <laughs> some some occasions. <laughs> All right. So as the elder, as the elder monk, you know, the monk Ananda, stood there fanning the teacher. Oh, now I know he's fanning the teacher, the Buddha. Nobody told us that he's fanning the Buddha before. You know, oh, he. We we just heard that he's uh, the Buddha's attendant, but you know we never heard that he's fanning the Buddha like that. <laughs> <coughs> right. He observed the conduct of the five men and said to the Buddha, "Reverend sir, normally they would say world honored one or Tathagata." Yeah. Oh dear Buddha, <laughs> okay. You are teaching the Dharma even as thunders, the thunder, which accompanies a heavy rain. But even as you teach the Dharma, these men sit doing this and that. So the Buddha said, Ananda, do you not know these men? No, sir, I... <laughs> Do not know them. Okay. Okay, the Buddha said, Of these five men, he that sits there and sow asleep was reborn as a snake in five hundred states of existence, in five lifetimes, five hundred lifetimes. And in each of these states of existence, he laid his head in his coils and fell asleep. Therefore, at the present time, also he is sound asleep. <laughs> so now you know. If you snore, then we call you a snake, <laughs> or ex snakes, ex <laughs> former snake. Yeah. Uh, not a sound I make enters his ear. I'm not surprised. <laughs> but reverend sir, I mean. But were honored one. In in many stories they say word honored one. They don't say reverend sir. Well, I guess they say oh you know, like masters or something, but not reverend sir. Tell me, was this in successive states of existence or at intervals? Ananda, at one time this man was reborn as a human being, at another time as a god even, wow, and at another time as a snake. So that means he, no, he, didn't, he did not, um, he was not reborn as a snake 500 uh, consecutive life, but in meantime, sometime a human, sometime a god even. You know, probably lower god. No? Wow, even a god can be reborn as... Snake again, you watch it, watch it, watch it. <laughs> Don't feel too proud of your merit or your uh, state of uh, spiritual practice. Okay. Indeed, it would be impossible, even with the knowledge of omniscience, to determine exactly the number of times he has undergone rebirth at intervals. But in 500 uh, states of existence, he was reborn as a snake and fell asleep. Not even yet is he sated with no. sleep. No. Go outside. Move. 
out now. You make too much noise. Go. Okay. The man who sits there scratching, <laughs> scratching the earth with his finger was reborn in 500 successive states of existence as an earth worm and burrow <laughs> into the earth. Hence, he digs the earth at the present time also and fails to hear my voice. Ooh. Ta -ta -ta. The man who sits there shaking a tree <laughs> was reborn in 500 successive states of existence as a monkey and from sheer force of habit acquired in previous states of existence, he still continues to shake a tree. Hoping coconut fall down, <laughs> I think. He didn't say what tree, but a monkey, they do that. <laughs> so then they climb up and get some coconut tree and just, you know, bang their butt with coconut tree, hoping it to open. Oh, I feel terrible. I saw it on TV. <laughs> ah, so, he still continues to shake a, a tree and the sound of my voice does not enter his ears. They did really want to come to listen to the Buddha's teaching, but the sheer force of karma from, from, from former lives make them doing what they do, mm. doing what they did. Okay, right. So be careful, what are you guys doing? <laughs> I'm just checking. <laughs> Anybody asleep? Then we know. 500 lifetimes. What's <laughs> next? Did anybody shake my olive trees outside? Huh? <laughs> Leave them alone, huh? <laughs> they did nothing wrong to you. <laughs> trees do have feeling, you know? <laughs> okay. All right. Anyone else is scratching the earth today? <laughs> Sitting there and just digging or writing stuff? All right. The Brahmin who sits there gazing at the sky was reborn in 500, always 500, successive states of existence as an... What? Astrologer. <coughs> Looking at the stars. And therefore today also he gazes at the sky just the same. I work hard, so I get sick sometimes. You guys sometimes bring, <coughs> bring presents, unwelcome presents. I told you I don't take any gift, but you still give. <laughs> so I get sick sometimes. It's normal, okay? No problem. Yeah, don't make me too wholesome, like I'm never sick, I'm never weak, I'm never ill. I am all that, okay? Because of? Oh, how did you know? <laughs> how could you guess? My God. Psychic power, huh? <laughs> All right. I'm not very proud of it, but I don't try to hide it. Hmm? Yeah. If you're looking for Buddhas or a master who is never sick, who is never laugh, who is never cry, who is never smile, who is never show any emotion or any uh, human's uh, feeling, then uh, that is the one for you. You sit there. Huh? You see that? You see the black Buddha there? That's the one you should <laughs> bow to. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know how I got that Buddha there. <laughs> but I like Buddha statues. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't bow to him or anything. It's just a respect, you know, for a great master. Yeah, as the story goes, you know it. Yeah, the love of the Buddha must be so immense that he undergo all that again to earn the merit in this physical world so that he can teach physical being and share the merit to save them. Yeah? See what I mean? Because the Buddha, in some, in some story he admits that he has been a Buddha in oh, immeasurable Im time, immeasurable eons, eons ago. He's not the first time he became Buddha, Shikamuni under the Bodhi tree, no. 
has been Buddha a long, long time. But in order to teach those, <laughs> I don't know what they call it again, yeah, or whoever, the one who dig the, the earth and the one who shake the tree and the one who gazes the <laughs> and the one who snore, yeah, it's just that so much sacrifice, yeah. But I like the Buddha statues because it's, it's very simple and peace, you know, it represents simplicity and peace. Yeah. It doesn't look suffering, understand? It reminds you that uh, we can all become peaceful like that, you know? And become Buddha, yeah. And it seems like a peaceful, peaceful energy, you know, a peaceful representative. Because uh, if any others, uh, then it feel calm, you know what I mean? Yes. Remind you to meditate. See what I mean? Because the Buddha, most of the Buddha statues, are the, uh, either he's sitting in meditation, yeah, or he also sitting calmly or uh, teaching, yeah, with his hands, or he's uh, reclining on the right side and also very calm. Hmm? Always, always kind of restful. Understand? Restful and peaceful. Yeah, there is no. A symbol of vexation or a symbol of any violence or war, you know, about the Buddha statues. That's why it is good to have it. <laughs> if you want to, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, you are shopping for food, huh? I'm not giving it to them for you. You eat enough for now, okay? If you go eat your food, I'll be very, very pleased. Hmm? Look at you, huh? What is this? <laughs> you pretend you don't understand anything, huh? I know you do. Okay, so now, uh, the man who sit there, yeah. Oh, so so the, the, this ex astrologer in many former lives just sit there and gazes at the sky just the same, and the sound of my voice does not enter his ears. The Brahmin who sits there listening attentively to my teaching was reborn in 500 successive states of existence. Just meaning is that repeated uh, many times of life, many lifetimes. It doesn't mean really everyone is <laughs> reborn 500 times. Just meaning that if you are repeatedly reborn, especially when successively reborn as one in one state of existence, one kind of existence, like one an type of animal, one type of uh, uh, profession, then you're so good at it that even after you reborn and not doing that, <laughs> you still try to do that. Our habit will force you to do that. That's why we have many genius, you know, mm? young, young, and at. Uh, mm, Children age, they already can play piano, they can solve math, difficult math uh, um, concept, and, you know, can uh, invent many things already, which adults cannot do, or being adapted at the master of some kind, as some kind of, of uh, uh, work that other adults cannot even do it. Or even same profession, like same, even adults, uh, many people have same profession, but one excels and the other also. So, so, eh? even same doctors, degree, study in same with the same master, study same school at the same time, but one doctor will be better than the other doctor. It's like that. Eh? <clears throat> All right, the man who sit listening to the Dharma when the Buddha was preaching. Yeah, he was reborn 500 successive, in, in 500 successive states of existence as the Brahmin, versed in the three Vedas. That's a, that's a kind of sutra of Hinduism, yeah? Vedas. Devoted to the repetition of the sacred texts and therefore listens attentively today also, as though he were putting together a sacred Text. Anan, say again. But, were honor one, your teaching of the Dharma 
cleaves the skin and penetrates to the mar marrow of the bones. Why is it that while you are teaching the Dharma, they do not listen attentively? So the Buddha say, Ananda, you evidently imagine that my Dharma is easy to listen to? And so I, I know many people during initiation, they also sleep, <laughs> and then later they complain they don't have any experience. They hear nothing. <laughs> Understand? Yeah, this is the thing like that. It's not like if you get initiation and you are equal, or you could even understand, or you could even let it run to your ears even. So the Buddha say the same stuff here. Yeah, so Anan was uh, perplexed, so he asked again, But why, were honored one, do you mean that it is difficult to listen to? Precisely, precisely so, Anan. Why is that? Uh, Reverend Sir, Ananda, these living beings, during countless thousands of cycles of time, never heard of the Buddha, the Dharma, and the order, I mean the monkhood, the uh, Sangha, with, while the Buddha was still alive. Yeah? Okay. It's a different kind of monks when, he, when they are under the living Buddha. Understand? And the study under the living Buddha is different than uh, when the monks who just study after that, uh, from the text only and trying to live according to the teaching. They probably don't have as much power. Yeah. Rarely we have as much power as the, the monks who uh, study and practice under the Buddha when he was still alive. Understand? That's why the Buddha mentioned here, meaning this is special Sangha, special order of monks who are still there while the Buddha is still alive. Yeah? So he say, these people, you know, during countless thousands of cycles of time, never, never, remember this word, never have heard of the Buddha, of the Dharma, or the Sangha, this kind of Sangha. This Sangha means the order of saintly practitioners, yeah, like monks and the, the living masters. Okay, you see that? Wow. Yeah, so it's not that easy to meet a Buddha, hey? Yeah, you have one there. <laughs> All right. So that's what it is. In, in other, many other stories, the Buddha also mentioned that to be to, to have a human body is very difficult. As if 100, as if, uh, as difficult as, as if in the ocean, every 100 years or so, one piece of wood will float on the water, and that piece of wood have a big hole. <laughs> and then something? Huh? A turtle neck would precisely go through the hole. <laughs> that is how difficult it, it is to a attain a human body. And then to hear the Buddha Dharma is even more difficult than that. And to meet the living Buddha is even more, 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 so whoever <laughs> can see the Buddha, hear the Buddha's teaching, or being among the saintly practitioners are truly fortunate. Yes, that's why the Buddha said it's very difficult to hear my Dharma. It doesn't mean his Dharma is difficult. Is it difficult? No, huh? We understood, right? Whenever the Buddha says something, like uh, keep the precepts, the four um, noble truth, we understood everything, no? It's not difficult. It's just very difficult for the people who has never been acquainted with the Buddha and the Buddha's teaching. They had not enough merit all this existence until now. So therefore, when they see it or hear it the first time, they doze off <laughs> or they don't understand a thing, they try, otherwise they wouldn't go there. What for? Understand? Men are normally are not easily to go and 
uh, submit themselves to another man when they don't know yet. They just heard that he's a Buddha, you know? So they, they trust and they believe in the Buddha, so they went there wanting to have something from him. They don't waste their time. Men, they would go out, play football, or listen to World Cup instead, watch on TV. Understand me? Or go in the bar, someone making joke in the bar. <laughs> but to go all this way, in the old time, even have to walk. You understand me? It's not easy like today, driving, drive by to listen to a master teaching. <laughs> <laughs> drive by, <laughs> drive by teaching. <laughs> so easy, you know? Or fly, you know? Few hours and you can see the teacher no matter where you came from. Those days, you have to walk, walk a long way, long way under the heat, under the rain, under the cold weather, who knows what. Okay? Yeah. So that means these five people truly want to know. or even not, at least they're curious to know. So they waste their time walking on a, such an uneven road in those days even, you know, who knows, and not good shoes, and then go there and listen to the Buddha, but cannot. Too much heavy karma. So therefore, even if you sit in front of Buddha, <laughs> you try hard, but you can't listen. It's not because you don't want to. The force of karma is so powerful like that. So powerful. Even in front of the Buddha, you still fail to understand or to listen to. In the Bible also, it say the same. Hmm? Hearing you hear, but you do not listen. Hmm? And uh, what? Uh, seeing you see, but you don't understand. This is the thing. <laughs> How familiar, huh? How very <laughs> in different religion say the same stuff. <clears throat> yeah, people don't understand such simple things. Yeah, even the uh, the prophet, uh, great prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. We have to say that. It's a tradition. Okay. Uh, even his cousin <laughs> still did not understand what the master was talking about, so he still had to keep telling him, don't eat that, don't eat that thing, that the, you know, the low quality will come within you, meaning don't eat meat. Hmm? Okay. All right. Yeah. And in the Bible also say you don't be among the wine drinkers and meat eaters. Hmm? But don't, not many people understand that. It's so simple. Isn't that not simple? Is it simple? Yeah. I mean, don't drink and don't eat meat. Huh? Hmm. But how many Christians do that? How many? Rare. Huh? Okay, rare. Yeah. If you just scratch, stretch it. I, I do example. Oh. In the south, when you have a, a more sun and drier climate, or in Arizona, or in a, mm, what is the state where they gamble a lot? For, Nevada. Huh? Nevada. 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 No, there's a name for it. Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> also has no. No such thing. We're very dry. Even though it's very hot, but you don't sweat. <laughs> the, the, the dry absorb immediately. <laughs> okay. Mm. Menalam ini bertajuk kisah Buddha seorang pelamin dan Tiada api seperti nafsu bahagian tiga sini berempat dalam ruangjangan antara guru dengan anak murid diberikan dalam bahasa Inggeris pada 23 hari bulan September tahun 2015 di Belancis. 
So you was thinking how even the Buddha, so powerful figure like a Buddha, so much energy that he could level the level the, the mountains, yeah, and dry up the ocean. Still this kind of people, karma, so heavy. That the force of karma forced them to do what they did. Imagine one person karma is like that. Imagine many people karma put together. Oh dear. Yeah, that's why even outside people, they know it. They say, he gives me ulcer, you know. Uh, such and such person give me gas, or such and such a person give me pain in the neck, and sometimes in uh, you know where, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true like that. No, truly, people are not saying that like a joke. It is true. You can experience that sometimes, don't you? No. Yeah, maybe sometimes it's subtle, you don't experience the pain right away, but y- gradually it affects you, and then you get sick, seriously sick, and it's too late, sometimes too late, yeah. Oh, I have pain in the neck, truly, oh my God. It happened a lot of time <laughs> when some people special go near, or and sometimes they send uh, some request toward me silently, or sometimes I think of them or talk about them like right now. Understand me? Even I don't mention the name and not particular person, but my subconscious know, and it had really pain here. Oh, mistake! <laughs> it was a mistake, but it's okay, you know. It's okay. I'm just telling you for my own personal experience. Yeah, it's not a joke. Eh? It's not a joke. That's why in the old time. Oh, when people want to marry, you know, or have a partnership in business, or oh, they look high and low from all the astrology, not just the day of birth or the year, but the the hours, the seconds, and the position and the place where they were born. Yeah. Yeah. It's very difficult to find uh, a partner a friend, a life uh, companion, a lifelong companion, which is compatible to you, harmonious uh, in the relationship and good energy and supportive and helpful. Falling in love is easy. Living in love is not. Yeah? <laughs> if, it's, if the love is still there for you to live in even, <laughs> sometimes it's gone away. <laughs> Honeymoon, quick, over. That's why they say honeymoon. In Vietnam we say honey week. <laughs> week only. After that is uh, washing dishes. Is the meal ready? Oh, there's another hair in my soup again. Why did you have such a long hair? <laughs> okay, the house is such a mess. What have you done all day? <laughs> Understand? Did you spend a lot of money buying that dress again? Uh, etc., etc. What are you watching football again? Are you crazy? <laughs> it's my birthday today. Etc., <laughs> etc. Et mm. <laughs> yeah, very difficult, no? Very difficult <laughs> to find a partner. Yeah. I found one, but I lost it. <laughs> very funny. <laughs> <laughs> But it's good for you that I lost, right? <laughs> or else, else I'm not sitting here. Yeah? Yeah. I probably still sit somewhere in a coffee shop, hold hands and talk nonsense. Yeah, and laugh <laughs> laugh at nonsense. So for those of you who have a good marriage, do treasure it, yeah? Do appreciate it. Marriage is not an obstacle to spiritual practice. If you have a good a harmonious one. Okay, you do respect each other and treasure each other company. Till death us do part. And if you have a difficult partner, also it's a challenge for you to be more determined, to be liberated from all this burdensome relationship in this difficult planet, difficult world, okay? Either way, it's all good. <laughs> it's just... Uh, it's just nicer and more pleasant when you both have the same level of spiritual aspiration 
and supporting each other and loving each other in such a way that is really uh, nourishing for both hmm? in any in many ways then you are lucky hmm? okay hmm. and don't take that for granted yeah uh, a good partner or in marriage or life companion can really help you a lot. You know, when you face outside trouble, you come home, run into each other's arms or take a coffee together, that is a great comfort. And then go meditate together, you know, supporting each other and, and really encouraging each other and loving each other in that way, then is very good. Many master has life, had like life companion, uh, Krishna, yeah, um, uh, how do you say, another guy, oh, I forgot, <laughs> I forgot, I forgot, huh? Kabir, what? Rama. Rama, yes, yeah, why wow, you know the story? Um, I can't remember. Oh, oh, wow, there's a very big love story. Uh, if I have time, I tell you. Okay. Yeah. Um. Who else? Huh? Ah, Prophet Muhammad. Um. Shiva. Hmm. Etc. Huh? Okay. They all have live companion. They are truly like best friends. You know, best friends. They support each other and really. Just be like in one, ne? one person. No conflicting, no uh, argumenting with each other, no contradicting each other, just supporting. Therefore, Kabir, <laughs> he knows you like to be here. <laughs> Remember, you were crying because 11 years you didn't see me. He know, he knows that. Yeah. So he tell you, good boy. <laughs> this is also a good boy. <laughs> and uh, many also good boy, good girl, he just couldn't reach. Okay? Don't be too uh, hard on yourself. <laughs> just he couldn't reach, yeah? Because you sit the different way and he cannot run through. If you want uh, any, he reach out of you, then you have to make like way and <laughs> sit on top of each other, maybe <laughs> easier to reach. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. See, he mean it. Look at him. He's serious. Yeah, very, very solemn. <laughs> yeah, very dignified dog. Yeah. yeah. Now, <clears throat> if I tell him where he truly comes from, you wouldn't believe me. Well, I keep it a secret. He doesn't want to be told. I also don't want to tell. Uh, yeah, just in the form of the dog, you know, <laughs> or in the form of human, who cares? Nobody knows what inside is outside. Everybody would think he's a dog. And because he's not very obedient to them, they throw him out three times, three families throw him out. They don't know his treasure, they don't know he's a treasure. <laughs> yeah, for, for me, he is a treasure. I know him, he knows me. And we're very comfortable with each other. <laughs> he doesn't always listen to me, huh? It's not like that. But I let him free. Sometimes I, I'm mad at him too because it's raining, <laughs> and I want him to go in, in a place. But he he run away from me because he heard something. He has to go do his job. Understand? But uh, I don't like him to get wet. Yeah, and get cold. And cold and wet. What to do? Huh? Yeah, <laughs> but he has to do his job. Yeah, and when he come, he come back. I scold him a lot. I say, "I'm your master. If I told you to come, you come. You understand that, huh?" And then he give me a paw. Sorry, <laughs> he sat in front of me and like this, and and I don't shake his hand, and then his foot again, and then he try again, and then again, <laughs> again, and then I relented. Yeah, yeah, he do this kind of thing. You know, I cannot not love him. I don't know who cannot not love him. Yeah, he even he's so beautiful as well. His hair has not grown yet. When it's all grown, he's look very magnificent. Yeah. No, a lot of mane here like lion. <laughs> yeah. 
He's so beautiful, eh? Quiet and peaceful. Only when he hears something, then he goes and check, you know, patrolling. Otherwise, he doesn't bug me. Yeah. Here, yeah, he's so spoiled, you know. I'm gonna eat biscuits and bone only. I'm not giving anymore. I told you. No, no, I, I'm not, not doing it. <laughs> I say I'm not doing it. <laughs> I said, I'm not doing it. I didn't say, I am going to do it. That's a difference. Okay. Okay. So the Buddha continued. Huh? Wow, I, sorry I <laughs> went too far. Huh? You still remember the story or not? Yeah, yes, yes. You can patch it up, yeah? Okay. So the Buddha said to Ananda that these living beings, for aeons, aeons, aeons of higher, since time immemorial, you cannot even count or remember, they have never had a chance to see a Buddha, to hear a Buddha's teaching, to see his disciple, Shanga, any of his disciples, not just monks, yeah? But at that time, monks are the closest disciple to Buddha, okay? They call it Shanga. Shanga means the members of monkhood. Mm? Mm. So he, they never been able to hear, my God, you thought, huh? You thought it's so easy to see the Buddha, right? We read the story, he's everywhere. <laughs> yeah, in Chetava, Chetavana Park, he's in uh, S- 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 oh, wherever, you know? Many countries, he, he goes everywhere. How come so difficult to see the Buddha? <laughs> yeah, cannot, cannot see the Buddha, all these people. My God. And because of that, the merit is always less, you know? So they had no chance to even do anything to, to go up even, so that to, to see the Buddha at all. The less you see the Buddha, the less you will see. Huh? The more you can see the Buddha, the more you have more chance. It's just like that, yeah. So in the Bible, Bible also said that uh, for those you have, you know, be more, be given, <laughs> even that. It means like that, yeah. All right, so, so now the... <clears throat> so therefore now they are unable to listen to this Dharma, mean this teaching. Dharma means not just a teaching, but something deeper, something invisible, something like during initiation, understand? The trans transmission, the transmission of something that awakened your soul, yeah? That is a true Dharma. The Dharma is a Buddha of teaching also, but when the Buddha is not teaching, it's not a true Dharma. When the Buddha just talk, or when somebody re- repeat the Buddha's teaching without power, then it's not a true Dharma. You can call that the Buddha's teaching then, understand? When the Buddha was talking, even though he used word, but that is also Dharma. Dharma is also mean God, God power, Buddha's nature doesn't only mean uh, the words, uh, speaking by words. It's just that because the, uh, the Buddha was speaking it, so he can also say, this is the Dharma, I'm preaching. Okay? Yeah, so you must understand this. All right. So now they are unable to listen to this Dharma which Buddha was teaching. In the route of existence without conceivable beginning, these living beings have been accustomed to listen to the speech of animals in its countless forms. Therefore, they spend their time in places where men drink and amuse themselves and therefore sing and dance. It is impossible for them to listen to the Dharma. Anand asked again, But reverend, sir, meaning the word honor one, the Tathagata, for what reason is it that they are unable to listen to the Dharma? Why are you crying, Korean? Huh? Sir, I, I feel we are the luckiest children. Oh, okay. <laughs> and for that you keep crying all the time? <laughs> So you don't hear my teaching <laughs> now. <laughs> what what have you been born five hundred years before? <laughs> okay. okay, it's okay. <laughs> For what? <laughs> For laughing at your expense? <laughs> 
It's okay. I know you are very sincere, but you are a crying baby. Ever since I saw you here, never one time you don't cry. <laughs> In the beginning, you cry a lot, and then uh, you stop for a while. You know, I mean, <laughs> I mean, maybe I didn't see when you were crying, and now you're crying again. <laughs> okay, it's okay. If you want to cry, it's good. At least it's good for your eyes. It cleans your eyes. <laughs> You've been cooking all day. Smoke get into your eyes now. <laughs> and the soya smell got <laughs> into your eyes. <clears throat> I know you're very sincere, and I'm very happy to have some students like you. Mm. You are welcome. <laughs> you made me want to cry also. <laughs> okay, try to listen to the Dharma, okay? You've been crying 500 years already. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so just just to test, what did I say just now? <laughs> huh? What did I say? <laughs> so you, <laughs> you keep digging into <laughs> your tears. <laughs> All right, don't cry too much. Your your eyes may get dry and swollen. Afterward, you have to go and get some eye drop. Okay, mm, otherwise it might get hurt. Yeah. Uh, wow, my God. The, the, Buddha, the Buddha said like that, and Ananda still asks, but what is the reason? <laughs> what else <laughs> the reason? Huh? So the teacher, meaning the Buddha, answered him as follows, Ananda, they are unable to do so by reason. Can, can everybody hear me? I forgot to move this. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, Ananda, they are unable to do so by reason of lust, lust, eh? uh, desirous, physical desire, by reason of hatred, by reason of delusion. For there is no fire like the fire of lust, consuming living beings as it does, without leaving, without leaving so much as ashes behind. Whew, what kind of fire that burn and even destroy the ashes as well? There's no visible evidence of the burning lust, right? Therefore, he say, even no leaving no no ashes behind. This is a troublesome disease that transmit from one to another person, from one generation to the next. Very difficult to escape. Therefore, people revere the monks, you know? Either during Jesus' uh, prophet's time or Buddha's time, or now even. Eh? Even some monks still eat meat and drink wine, but they forsake the sensual pleasure, and people revere them, because it's a difficult thing to do. That is why. Yeah? They do something that the majority of people cannot do. You know, they leave the family, they leave the um, <clears throat> ensnaring clutch of lust, lustful relationship behind, which is not their fault or it's not your fault. It is a, the, 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 the makeup, the foundation of physical beings is like that. It's made up like that. It's made you have all kind of desire inside your body. The, the cells, the hormones, driving everybody crazy. That is why it's so difficult to leave it behind. And so the monks and the nuns who could leave it, they revere them because of that. That doesn't mean that monks and nuns had no feeling. They just try to conquer it, understand? Or try to ignore it, or, or do something else which make themselves more, make their life more busy, more meaningful. You understand? Then just to take care of your physical demand or desire of the sensual pleasure, or and then uh, have to take care of the consequence thereof afterward. You know, like me, a large family, and working so hard day in day out just to survive, just to keep the family afloat. Mm. Not every fortunate to have a lot of money to keep the family, but even then. To have a lot of money, meaning a lot of responsibility too. They have to take care of the business. They have to work also, very hard. Hmm? Hmm. 
All right. So the Buddha say that one of few reason is lust, hatred, or delusion. Okay. So the lust, the fire of lust is burning living beings without leaving traces, ashes behind. Yeah. To be sure, the word conflagration, conflagration, which closes an epoch, burns up the world, the world without leaving anything behind. But this is a fire which breaks out only on the appearance of the seven suns, and this fire burns only at times and at seasons. But as for the fire of lust, there is no time when the fire of lust does not burn. Understand? There's some time in some special epoch, epoch, the fire from the sun burns, or maybe the climate change burns, burn everything. You know, destroy the one of the planet, or destroy the whole planet, or destroy most of the planet, living beings, or uh, others' uh, uh, you know, existence on one planet. Even, or if the sun, when too many sun come out like seven suns, like some of the period of the time when when it's the end of the world is approaching, maybe seven suns appear, or maybe just a symbol of the seven sun because it's too hot. Normal sun is bearable. But if it's but it's hotter than this, seven times hotter, then it's like seven suns appear in the sky. But this kind of disaster or dis- destruction only burns sometimes in the period of existence, not every day, not all the time. But the fire of, l- of lust, according to Buddha observation, it burns all the time. He said, there is no time when the fire of lust does not burn. It don't burn here, it don't burn there, but it burn within all beings inside. Therefore, there are wars, there are trouble, there are fighting, there are, you know, murder, there are all kinds of things because of lust. Lust not mean only sexual desire. It could also mean lust for power, for fame, you know, for victory over others, for fortune, understand, for controlling. All this kind of lust is burning people burning all beings inside out. A lust for vengeance also, né? revenge, lust for, how you say, greed, all kind of lust. Né? Okay? Mm. <clears throat> therefore, I say, the Buddha, therefore I say that there is no fire like the fire of lust, no grip, grip like hatred, no snare like delusion, and no river like craving. So saying, the teacher pronounced the following stanza in the Buddha. He summoned, you know, he summarized <laughs> the whole meaning of his teaching. There is no fire like lust, no captor like aversion, unequaled is delusion's net, no river like craving. And he just summarized what he has told before. That's it. End the story. Thank you to the Buddha again to clarify all this and to remind us to practice, to concentrate, one pointed, at least here. Okay? You should know. In the night time, if you really try to be awake, you will hear better sound. You see better vision. Yeah, it happened to me before, you know, the beginning, <laughs> when I still didn't know anything. You know, but I don't sleep. I just sit in the corner. Uh, I didn't have much money. If I go visit somewhere, I just bring a coat with me. You know. And then I cover, I sit in the corner of their house and cover with my coat, the outside coat, long and big, like a bathrobe, similar, so long and big. And I just sit and in, 
Uh, and I go to Inisha's house, you know, some people, same, same, same method. They ask him, uh, your neighbor is playing, you know, music all night. And he said, no, we don't have any neighbor four miles away. <laughs> we own the whole forest. And they're like, no neighbors. But I heard all kind of music all night. Yeah, beautiful. So they were very envious. And he said, what? We didn't hear anything. <laughs> I sat next to their bed, you know, I hear nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's what I call deaf, deaf, huh? deaf, really deaf is like that. <laughs> not the people who couldn't hear, <laughs> but the people who could not hear, <laughs> understand? <laughs> that is really deaf. I have a physical body, and my physical body reacts to bright lights, to sensitive, you know, to things. Yeah. In fact, I have to confess to you, I don't know how I keep doing this, you know, knowing myself, <laughs> what I like and what I don't like, you know, and I don't know how I could do it. <laughs> yeah, The body uh, has some different reaction to different things, yeah? Yeah. You're tough, you're strong. And not everybody is tough and strong. I am not that tough, not that strong. I'm more sensitive in different ways. That's all, okay? But just like maybe some people go in a dark forest, they don't have fear. I do. I do have fear. But I still do it. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. It's not because uh, if I give you something, it doesn't mean I don't like it. <laughs> I throw it away. So I also like my privacy, I like to be alone very much. I like just to be completely alone. But I give you this as a gift to be with you, understand? It doesn't mean that I like, I don't like to be alone, yeah. It's just like that. And I fear, but I go into the forest because I want to go. I must go there for a special reason, meditate in some special place, yeah? I cannot tell lie. I cannot say, oh, oh, I fear nothing. <laughs> I do fear. Uh, in Himalaya, I also have fear. Huh? Yeah, because sometimes I walk in the dark to go home. I, I don't remember now how I did it. I don't have any flashlight. I couldn't afford it at that time. Battery, you know, and heavy, you know, I can't carry everything. But I always find a way home, even in a dark forest. I have to go through dark forest to go home. I didn't know how I do that, <laughs> but I did. Sometimes cross the river and all that, you know, and the river swollen very quick, and I had to run fast and uh, fell in down, falling down, something like that. But I just did it, not because I don't have fear, not because I'm a tough girl, but I do it, just do it. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> So some people expect that I have no fear, no sadness, yeah? My body is made of iron like the Buddha there, no, 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 no delusion, no lie, okay? I'm fragile, sensitive, hmm? Love to be alone, <laughs> love quietness, and love safety. <laughs> Small woman, no? Yeah, there are big guys around everywhere, hunters, <laughs> animals, yeah? yeah. Animals, I don't fear much. I fear human more. <laughs> okay, so now you understood everything? Yeah? Mm, I hope you still like me after you know that I have fear and <laughs> sensitive. <laughs> huh? Picky, picky. Huh? Okay, thank you. thank you. I just don't tell lies, that's all. <laughs> yeah? What's the use? What's the use of telling you I'm a tough girl, tough guy? What's the use of that? For what reason I should cheat you? Huh? For what reason I should tell you that? When it doesn't exist? For what? Mm. Okay then. Okay, huh? We're done today.
merupakan salah satu kubah mendalam ini bertajuk kisah Buddha seorang Brahmin dan tiada api seperti nafsu bahagian empat siri berempat dalam rancangan antara guru dengan anak murid diberikan dalam bahasa Inggeris pada 23 hari bulan September tahun 2015 di Belantis Any question? Spiritual question? You stop crying or not yet? <laughs> Cry too much and you don't have any more tears for tomorrow. Save some. <laughs> so that every day you have one episode. <laughs> You're sick now? <laughs> finally, finally. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I got sick a little bit. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, I don't know. You ping pong with each other? Or did I give it to you? No. Okay. When I went to, you know, touch your forehead, I always wear this. Hmm? When I sit here, it's far away. But I'm, I'm okay now already anyway. Uh, you stay long, huh? You stay longer? Uh, yeah, I can stay till 26th. 26th? Oh, you can stay as long as you want. That one or two person don't make a difference. It's just that... Uh, a lot of people has to go because a new people will be coming, but one or two person don't make any difference if you can bear such a ascetic, ascetic condition like here. <laughs> yeah, because he, he didn't see me for eleven years. He was crying like that girl over there, <laughs> shameless. <laughs> no, he, I didn't see him crying. I just came out and I feel like I could should talk to him. And he sat under the tree with not much uh, room. So I come and tell him he could come and sit in certain sorts of place so he can stretch out more. And then I saw him crying. And he said eleven years he couldn't he couldn't see me because he doesn't have proper documents. He didn't have passport. He didn't have green card yet at that time, you know. Refugees. Yeah. Yes. So I told him also he could stay longer if he wants. If your girlfriend allows. <laughs> Don't come home and tell it because of me, so she thinks we have something to do with each other. <laughs> yeah, who knows? People are funny. <laughs> I'm so old and people still think, you know, maybe. <laughs> Any question? Seriously? No? Yeah. Better, good question, huh? Don't talk nonsense and don't stretch so long. Be short, simple, and good. Master, uh, yesterday afternoon, when I was doing Kuan Yin, I heard like a church bell mm -hmm. uh, about six or seven times like that. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought <coughs> it was the master chanting. Mm. Then uh, suddenly I remember a sister when ar I arrived here, mm. she had shown me that uh, the rules here, there is no music and no master chanting is allowed here. No. Yeah. Then I, at the moment I realized uh, it shouldn't be master chanting. Mm. Then uh, I, I was just thinking perhaps this is the inner experience of mine. Mm. Then at the moment I I'm, I was thinking about that. It stopped. Yeah, it's yep. gradually mm -hmm. the sound become weaker and yeah. weaker. The mind comes in. Yeah, and, yeah. and finally it's gone. It's okay. Yeah. It's gone. Yeah. You don't hear anything anymore. Yeah. <laughs> today blank. Uh, to, today still. Oh, okay. okay. But just less. Yeah. Less, less uh, intensive. The, the beating is different. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Of course, it's interesting, and it cannot be the same <laughs> every day. Okay then. Yeah. Then Your mind is different today. Yeah. But then what uh, something that I would like to ask Master ask uh, how to maintain the sounds so that it can stay longer with me. Mm. Mm. Concentrate. <laughs> Don't think. Is that because when I realize this is my inner experience then it's gone? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. The mind. Mm. Because when we realize that is the analytical mind, is it's not the soul anymore. But it's just automatically... I know, <laughs> I know. That's I, a I problem, didn't problem, <laughs> problem, problem. We have this, yeah. <laughs> therefore we can survive here, but it's a troublemaker. 
you know, without without the mind, we also cannot live here. Mm? Without the brain and all that, we cannot understand and we cannot absorb the worldly knowledge. But it's a troublemaker. Do you have medicine? I mean, f vitamins. Uh huh. You don't have others who shorten the period of. Uh, Okay, I have a little thing left. I give to you. Some, some, hmm? some people have some they would share with me. Okay, then it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's uh, the the quicker the better. You know, it's terrible to be sick. It's nuisance. Yeah, it's not too much as painful, but it's nuisance. You have to sit here, concentrate, and then you have to blow your nose, and then, <laughs> you know what I mean. And can't sleep well, can't concentrate very well. I feel sorry for people who are sick when. When I need to meditate, I'm so sorry, huh? Okay. Now, any other question? Oh, um, okay. Just concentrate more, and and if you think, then don't think again. <laughs> What else can I do? <laughs> it just happened that way, Master. <laughs> I know that. I know that. Just karma, make it that way. So bear it, okay? It will come again. Don't worry. It will come around again, okay? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Master. Yeah, you're welcome. It's not so bad. That Some people are stay at home. They meditate before they sleep, okay, and then they lay down. So then, normally the whole night should be like meditating state. But then their husband kicked them, and they got off, and then <laughs> they or their wife, you know, snore something like that. It happens all the time. <laughs> yeah. If not, then it's your mind. You're making trouble. Yeah. I also have. Uh, I also have trouble. Mm. Uh, sometime, sometime I have to receive some new. I don't know if I should tell you this. Just one second. <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> okay. Okay. And okay. Uh, even nowadays, you know, sometimes I have to receive some SMS from heaven, from Yoska. Yeah. Sometimes, uh, if I ask normal, if if a normal problem, then we can solve right away. But if something deeper and it came from original universe and it took some time to come down to answer me, two three days, sometimes a week or two even. And when it comes, <laughs> it's like you receiving facts. I'm not joking. Even if I'm sleeping or meditating, the sound will come. Not not the normal sound like your meditation on the sound. No, no, no. It goes very differently. It's like a fax machine or some distinctive sound, which I cannot describe because we don't have it in uh, in the sound meditation, or I don't have. We don't have it on this planet. Yeah, it wakes me up, and then I had to get up and check out what is it. Sometimes it takes me a long, long time to truly, truly get the message across to, to my mind. But it always comes with the sound to let me know that I have a message. Just like at home or when you have an SMS in your phone, it's either ring or a beep or vibrate. Huh? It does have a sound. I was surprised. <laughs> Before I don't have that. Before I didn't have that. Only for me, Oscar, then we have that. Because it came from far away, it needs some powerful meth, some powerful uh, carrier, you know. Therefore, the sound. Yeah. Before I wasn't strong enough to receive such message through through carrying energy carrier like that. Understand? Yeah. Therefore, I didn't have it. Just uh, lower heaven, you know. Then it doesn't matter. Then I can know it right away. But this one is different. It takes long time for me. Sometimes two, three days, even to to uh, decipher, decipher the the real meaning of that, the real message, the whole message. Sometimes it is also confusing me, and sometimes I just say, okay, then forget it. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's faster for me to know uh, to translate into English. Sometimes not. Sometimes it takes several days. Uh, first, I ask first, is it urgent or not? Because I can't get it now. <laughs> so when they say not urgent, then I take my time. 
If it's urgent, then I just have to forget everything else in order to concentrate on that, to decipher the, the message, you know, to code it, yeah, to uncode the message so that I can do things accordingly. Yeah. Only important things, you know, but otherwise it's not a very... They don't always bother me every day. <laughs> Sometimes I also get <laughs> a little <laughs> mad, you know, I say, why? <laughs> why do you make it so difficult? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not them, it's my mind. It's in this world, it's different from the other levels, you know? It takes a long time for me to be able to transfer it into English language, for my mind to understand and for my body to know what to do. Okay? Yeah, all right. Okay, then. Oh, it sounds funny sometimes. Sometimes it sounds very funny. Yeah. Sometimes it sounds like creaking, sometimes it's. It's a very, very high pitch, sometimes a low and, and, and a soothing, you know, sometimes it's abruptive, sometimes, oh, I don't, I don't know the sound, I cannot, I cannot imitate it. <laughs> it's just I know immediately that the message is coming, it's just I don't know what it is, <laughs> not, not immediately, you know. I know that I have message and I have to take note and I have to notice and I have to try to work on it but I don't immediately know what it is. It's not like, okay, you got the facts, you call out. Or even if you have the fact, you have to print it out, no? Understand? Or even you get message on the phone, you have to open your phone, yeah? Put some certain button, or nowadays you just swipe it, <laughs> and then it comes out, huh? Okay? And sometimes even in English, you don't understand what the other person say. Sometimes misunderstanding. I send SMS to my... Helper, you know, dog keeper. They don't know what I'm do saying, and then they still did the wrong thing. Yeah, or did the opposite. Sometimes it's frustrating, not to talk about the message. It's difficult to understand. Yeah, but I managed. I managed up to now. Not one of the messages that I have not been able to decode. <laughs> yeah, I'm very <laughs> proud. Of my intelligence. <laughs> He hear the voice. <laughs> I take some for you tomorrow. Hmm? You have to eat this. Oh! <laughs> when he hear that, he flop. <laughs> he flop. Okay, guy. Any more question? Come. Yeah. You were praying the other day to have married ninety-one uh, lifetime or something. No, because you were so Just looking at the star. <laughs> Five hundred times, uh, five hundred <laughs> lifetime. Yeah, tell me a few, what. A few days ago, regarding the one Korean brother's report, the number of students who are eating vegan diet. Ah, a vegan diet. Yeah, once a week. Uh huh. Uh, in Gwangju Center, the number is actually four hundred thousand. Oh, yeah, so it 400,000? Yeah. Wow, once a day, once yeah. a week. Wow. But at the time... <laughs> you say 400? Yeah, 40,000 oh, okay. 40, oh, 40, something. 400,000. So yeah, 400,000 okay. okay, okay, is the correct good, number. Good. The correction so it's accepted. It's a huge difference, so <laughs> <laughs> I want to correct. <laughs> no problem. Why are, you, why are you always looking up when you talk to me? <laughs> Actually, sometimes look at I that, want look to... Look at that, he's looking up. <laughs> I want to correct... <laughs> I sometimes 500, so. 500 year astrologer. <laughs> okay. It's not too bad. Astrologer, astrologer is a good, good, good profession. It's better than snake. <laughs> better, better than snakes for sure. Yeah. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Four hundred thousand. Wow, that's a big, big. Yeah. It means whole student of the city. Mm -hmm. Eat vegan See, diet once a week. <laughs> Okay, okay. Congratulations. Good for Korea. Yeah, thank mm. you, Master. Yeah. But you... Maybe it all from your blessing and love, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I always love and bless. Yeah. I'm not sure whoever can receive it or not receive it, you know? Like the rain, it rained out all the time. But if we sit inside, we won't get wet. We won't get the rain. Okay? 
It works, master. It works good. I'm glad. <laughs> Thank you, master. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot see you or something. Okay. That's why I sit. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. No problem. <laughs> we just make fun. Yes. Any, yes, I know. Yeah. Any other question? Yeah. Here. Okay. No. No. Korean, huh? Oh my God. Yeah. Korean <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm a little bit sh uh, embarrassed about this. Embarrassed? Yeah. Why? 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 Uh, my meditation is not good enough. Mm -hmm. oh. <coughs> ah, join the club. <laughs> They're all embarrassed. <laughs> Don't make them more embarrassed now. Don't even point it out. <laughs> Normally nobody knows. <laughs> Why did you tell? Why did you tell? In, in in my opinion, I think <laughs> my meditation is the worst <laughs> in this also, assembly. You are entitled to your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody <laughs> say anything here. <laughs> you say anything? 당신 생각하기에 그런 거지 사실 다들 비슷합니다. 좀 감히 청해 보건데 어 제가 더 며칠 머무르면은 이것이 어 생이 도움이 될지 여쭤보고 싶어요. If, pos if possible, master, is mm, uh, can I could I stay more here? Then is good for my practice. Then oh, why do you want to stay possible? longer? You already sick. Where to? 머물고 싶은 건가요? 여기서 여기서 이미 아프잖아요. 명상이 여기 사는 게불 집에서는 명상하기가 in my home, I cannot meditate. It's my, my meditation is almost how say impossible. I cannot meditate mm -hmm. good enough. But in here, I feel better, and mm -hmm. my meditation is better. Good enough. excuse. Good. <laughs> Join the club. Join the club. I cannot continue building house. <laughs> this is, is it not allowed to build bigger. If I have room, I would, I would let you stay. I don't know if we have enough room. We have all these certain rooms in the house, uh, and uh, maybe we could build some something outside and put the heater. If possible, we can do that. If you want, if you can. Can afford, you can stay. Mm. Any, any other question? People behind there, do they want to ask anything? Other rooms? If you want any question, you can come here. No? Okay then. And Mama goes home with my dogs. <laughs> mm. I don't know, it's so difficult to buy materials, but we could just wrap it up. Yeah, we could wrap it up. But then when it rains, it's not possible. Yeah. Only this, these numbers, okay, because if it rains, we come here, or in the other rooms, uh, upstairs some. But if more people, then some has to stay outside. And the outside is not uh, rainproof yet. You see, I was thinking to put some hard plastic on top. Maybe we have to do that. I want to do clear plastic, but it's difficult to buy. Difficult to buy so much at the same time, you know. I think about it. And I have to buy wood also to make a frame and a, a, a roof, you know, beams and stuff. And then we can nail on top. And then if it's cold, then we can rainproof the area outside. And when it's cold, we can put heater, you know, gas heater, you know, even one or two high, gas heater be very warm all day, all night. Or oil heater, you know. Chai, you look very comfy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> He likes sincere practitioners. 
He likes good people. Huh? He enjoys very much to be here. Yeah. <laughs> Look funny. <laughs> he looks so funny, you. <laughs> Everybody loves you now. I'll make up for the, the other lousy people who did not love you. We, we all love you here. Make it up more than enough. More than enough makeup. Huh? Make enough for the last, for the past. Okay? No? Mama can go, huh? Okay, huh? Yeah, we close the, close the, the light. Oh, okay, so the answer is no. Okay, no to everybody. Yeah, some 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 special case, you know, like this guy, and maybe one Korean and one sick in Arizona and there, but <laughs> I don't know how many I can take, huh? What can I do? I really want to. Outside it's so cold and the draft, you know? Because, uh, I don't know, maybe we could cover more, more plastic. Cover until the ground. Huh? Could do that, but it takes some time. Uh, shall we time, huh? Today they put some, uh, some uh, transparent plastic there, but still feel cold. Because so many, uh, the balcony underneath is still open. Do you have some more canvas somewhere? Okay, tell them to cover everywhere they can, or the draft, or the, or the gap on the floor, you know? Between the balcony and the floor, there are some line of gaps. How, how can we cover all that to, to windproof it, to draft proof? And uh, oh, rainproof is difficult because it rain come in in the middle and come from the left, from the right, because it's not real, you know. It's summer camp only. Oh, well, this is you really making my heart feel very bad, very guilty. Yeah. Huh? You have one blanket. You have one blanket. Yeah, but when it rains, you can't. In order to stop the rain, we have to really build it up, you know, with hard plastic cover. And then we cover all the gap. But then if we cover all the gap like that, it's good for summer, but win good for winter, but summer will be too hot. <laughs> what a word, huh? Yeah. Rain too wet, sun too hot. <laughs> Snow too cold. Why are you here still? <laughs> Yeah, somebody is so sorry for you. Have to follow, Master. Have to. <laughs> Pitiful. <laughs> See, he just come in now. We got to come back in. He come in. He don't want to leave. Even just here, right here. He likes huh? he like to come. Yeah. Love to. Yes. Love to. Yeah. Sometimes he went downstairs to eat with other dogs. When he came up, he don't see me outside. It's because mostly I'm outside, you know, walking or sitting outside or in the kitchen. And he saw me, then he just don't do nothing. Maybe wake a little tail, <laughs> then go into his place. But if he doesn't see me, he go looking everywhere. He peer through the window and all that. And when he saw me, he feel embarrassed, so he just went like, <laughs> like he didn't look anything. <laughs> like it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Also because. Uh, um, I don't know. Uh, we have some professional, <laughs> professional helpers here. You know, like some uh, used with cooking in the kitchen, the Korean, and the Chinese, and the cameraman. But they all have to leave also. Visa, okay? They can stay only three months, and mostly three months already almost gone. They go in home soon next month. You see what I mean? So it's not just you. Everybody has to go. Mm. And if it's too cold, also I also go. <laughs> yeah, I go south in winter, like the birds, <laughs> me and my dogs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're beautiful. I love you very much. Mm, you good boy. You boy, good boy. Yeah. Uh, if I sit next to him and meditate, then he just snore away. 
He don't w- w- wake up even if he hears some sound. He just sleep. <laughs> I am his bodyguard. <laughs> but if if he sleep alone, he's very alert. You know. Yeah. He likes to sleep next to me, and you know, like, like this, and singing song, and then he just know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. You know. <laughs> the way you smile is so scary. Don't smile, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Smile, all the fang comes out. <laughs> yeah, he smile like that. <laughs> scary. <laughs> Smile for the camera. <laughs> yeah, I keep telling him, you don't smile, it's so scary. <laughs> okay. No, you look good. When you smile, you look good. I was just joking. You're beautiful. <laughs> you can't help it if your fangs shone, right? Yeah. All right then. Sorry, man. So sensitive. <laughs> You're like a horse, can I ride? <laughs> <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Whoa, he's getting bigger now, man. Yeah. Before I could ride him, but now I had to climb up. <laughs> that means he grow bigger. Yeah. How long will you stop growing? How many how many years until you stop? Huh? He should stop already, right? But he is taller now. Yeah. I forget to look at you and you get taller and bigger. Huh? Let's go home. Move. Come on. Okay. Thank you, huh? Thank you. If you have to go home, go home, huh? <laughs> I mean, maybe a couple of days, okay, but... You know, because when it rains and cold, I cannot feel good in there, in, in my place. Yeah. Okay, I'm coming. Thank you, Thank you for your love anyway. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you Master. Master.